Okay, one sec, one thing before you go. One thing before you go. I'm just going to give you a result that you're going to need for homeworks. And we may come back to the derivation next time if there's time. So we showed the numerical result for the magnetic field of the long wire. Okay, You could work it out analytically and calculate using an integral what the result would be for the magnetic field of that has a length L. So we're running from negative L, x equal negative L over 2 to x equal positive L over 2. Conventional current I. Here's a little length delta L. And that's R. And this is some location 0, y, 0. And this is location x, 0, 0. Okay? What you'd have to do is figure out delta B is equal to mu naught over 4 pi, delta L cross R hat over R squared. And then write R and delta L in terms of the known quantities, namely x, y, and the current. Okay? This is laid out in the book. You then sum up all those delta Bs, which means you are then doing an integral of the dBs. You get a result for the magnetic field of a wire of length L along that center line axis, and this is the result. The result is mu naught over 4 pi, and this is just a magnitude now, not a direction. Mu naught over 4 pi, capital L times I over r times square root of r squared plus l over 2 squared, where I'm really now calling this distance r, just like we have done in the past. I'm changing the name of that y to r, meaning the perpendicular distance away from the current. One approximation that's useful is when you have a very long wire, L is much bigger than R. If you simplify it, you'll find that the magnetic field of the wire, long wire, is equal to mu naught over 4 pi 2i over R. So you get a 1 over R distance dependence for a very long, thin wire, just like we got a 1 over R distance dependence for the electric field of a long, thin charged rod. Okay, So the geometry is kind of similar. Uh, but we have a nice formula for the magnitude. The direction then would come from the right-hand rule, and you should be able to then predict what the vector would be at a particular location.